Doctor, who could briefly describe uh, what he means by the ANSI accredited uh, process. Scott. <laughs> process. Uh, when ANSI looks um, um, at standards that want to become called an, uh, an American national standard, it's not to the substance of that standard. That's for others. That's for, for the, the standards body and if it's incorporated for, the, for the, uh, the agency or the Congress to look at. It's for the process to make sure that it's inclusive, that it's transparent, uh, that there have not been impediments created that would not allow people to participate to the highest and, and greatest uh, part, uh, possibility. Uh, and so that's, that's our role. I, again, we don't create standards. You know, we, we don't, uh, we're, we're not in, in the process or in, 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 the, in the business of trying to uh, decide what needs to be a standard and what does not. But if a, sta a standard comes to us to be, to be vetted and turned into, again, an American national standard, we have to make sure that that process is one that meets all the needs that have been discussed here uh, and that are, uh, are meeting those public policy needs. And I think that that's very important that you have, in a sense, sort of that, that bifurcation of how standards are created. And again, uh, one of the, the, the problems we've seen in other places around the world is that it's a top-down program and sometimes they get it right and sometimes they don't and you can say it's more efficient. And certainly I think there's, there's a lot of uh, times that the, the, the wheels seem to turn slowly, but what you get at the very end is the due process. And I think that that's something that has really not been discussed as much as it should be in this, in this meeting, is the due process that you go through on standards. And so when there, there are concerns about that due process, they should certainly come to us or they should, they should come to the standards developer themselves. But there are all kinds of, of, of uh, levels of, of scrutiny um, and, and uh, oversight within the, the private sector consensus system that I think um, uh, has been very effective um, and, is, is, again, is transparent. So I think that those who are, are concerned about these issues should look at those, um, at, at that, again, that oversight uh, and, and participate where, uh, where they find it effective. Um, so again, uh, bottom line, we don't write standards, but we make sure that the, that the standards that are written that come through our system meet all the, the process public good requirements that, that we have within our system. Thank you very much. And for our webcast audience, ANSI stands for the American National Standards Institute. Thank you.